The Transformers series directed by Michael Bay is receiving a reboot. Transformers 4 Age of Extinction is out and initiates a new trilogy. Aaron Kruger, who wrote the screenplay for the last two installments, is back in the team. The cast from the originals has been replaced, headed by Mark Wahlberg, and only Optimus Prime and Bumblebee remain of the old Transformers crew. Following the attacks on the Chicago during Transformers Dark of the Moon, the remaining Autobots have gone into hiding, being hunted down by the humans they once swore to protect. Cade Yeager, played by Mark Wahlberg, is a broke, widowed inventor who is trying to bring up the money for his 70-year-old daughter Tessa, Nicola Pelt, in order to pay for her college when he acquires an old run-down truck. He soon discovers that it is Optimus Prime, but when his assistant gives away their location in order to receive a bounty, they are attacked by a CIA task force named Cemetery Wind, which's mission is to seek out all Transformers in order to contain the perceived threat to mankind. Unbeknownst to even the President of the United States, this task force, through their official leader Harold Attinger, is affiliating with an unknown Transformer assassin who aims to bring down Optimus. Attinger, having worked out a deal of his own with the owner of a multi-billion dollar technology company called KSI, owned by Joshua Joyce, Stanley Tucci, wants to harvest the Transformers metal compound and create man-made and controlled Transformers of his own. Optimus reunites with the remainders of the Autobots and plans their counter-attack on the company. Now this is Michael Bay action cinema with more explosions and CGI than ever. Unfortunately, the character development, plot and dialogue do suffer a bit. Mark Wahlberg delivers the big star name to support the franchise and does deliver his character of the overprotective father well enough, but fails to be believable as a smart inventor type. In the first Transformers you really related to the characters and the Autobots and you really felt with them. And now you don't really care what happens to them, whether they get blown to shreds or fall off a building or anything. It seems as if Bumblebee and Optimus, for that matter, are simply in the film for recognition value, as they had been the most popular characters from the past films. New Autobots are stereotypical and cliché with John Goodman voicing Hound, a cigar-smoking war veteran type and Ken Watanabe's Drift, the to-be-expected samurai warrior with swords and wise proverbs. They are perfect action figures though, and I think that is like a big idea behind it, maybe. Uh, there's product placement galore, characters drinking from brand bottles and obvious advertisement on buses, etc. And there seems to be a strong focus in the second half of the film on the Asian audience, as if trying to go from one extreme, being America, Texas, to Tokyo, Japan, um, just to please everybody, like the mass audience. Many unnecessary scenes which feel like time wasters and don't drive the plot, like for example um, lots of them uh, being on the spaceship. Um, extensive, I repeat, extensive slow motion and uh, massive before scene destruction of buildings etc which at some point seem really unnecessary. I, I mean I understand when massive robots fight Things get broken, but since Superman and Godzilla, it seems to have become a bit of a trend to like destroy cities. Total disregard of human life, both on good and bad sides of the battle. And the film is acceptable until the spaceship scene when everything just starts going over the top. I know there's a Transformers film, but wow. I get the thing with the dinosaurs, like that's a really nice connection also from the beginning of the film then with them. Um, but too many things just seem to happen so that the next point in the plot can be reached. For example, Optimus and the other car transformers are bound to flight vehicles and spacecrafts, and then he suddenly decides to fly at some point. It just doesn't work out. All in all, it's a bombastic summer popcorn film following the track of the last Transformer installments, and if you're happy to disregard characters along with the obvious thin storyline for the amazing CGI and animations, you will enjoy this film in all its explosive glamour. I give it 2 out of 5.